is Mac and Otis. Oh, I'm 14. Before I went there, I, my, just my outlook on life was really negative. Hated myself. The only way I was able to cope with that was to just take it out on other people. I was just pretty depressed. I didn't like myself. My name is Chris Quinonis. I'm Matt's mom. Matt was struggling. I was worried that Matt was going down the wrong path. He was depressed, just he wasn't happy. The whole family was struggling, and I was very worried that Matt was gonna commit suicide. Um, and he had talked about it, he talked about it a lot. He said he, was, he didn't like his life, he wasn't happy with himself, but he needed help. It was a last resort. Uh, I started doing research about a month before, and I started reading about different wilderness programs. Uh, Red Cliff Ascent was the one that I just connected with. He knew I was researching wilderness programs because he saw it and I, and I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at stuff. He thought maybe he was going to go out into the woods for a week and hang out and go camping. And he was like, oh, that sounds cool. I could deal with that. So he knew a little bit that I'd been researching stuff. He didn't know what I had been researching. The day that we put Matt in, I head straight home and then we picked up um, his dad. I said, we're going south. And he said, is this it? Are you, am I going someplace? And I said, yeah, this is it. And so we started driving down to Southern Utah, and that was on a Friday. And we were planning on staying in a hotel that night and then him going in on Saturday morning. And the next morning we got up and he didn't know where he was going. I just told him we were going to get help. I didn't really like know what I was going into. When I first got there, I thought that it was gonna be easy, that I was gonna be able to like beat the system. In the morning, after having breakfast, we drove out to um, Enterprise, Utah, which is like in the middle of nowhere. When we pulled into the parking lot, there were five people standing in the parking lot waiting for us. We pulled in and they just, they saw us, they surrounded the car, and I said, Matt, this is it, you're going into a wilderness right now. We gave him a kiss goodbye and we didn't see him again for 90, 90 days. They pulled me into a room. I said goodbye to my parents, and then they made me change into these new clothes, gave me all new stuff. I had nothing of my own. I could not have brought anything in. Couldn't have even snuck anything in. Put me in a car and just brought me to the middle of nowhere to a group of kids. When I first got there, you can't even walk out of sight from staff. You're with the same staff every week, and you just backpack around this large area of nowhere sleep under a tarp that you tie up to a tree. There's certain amounts of water you have to drink and there's certain amounts of food you have to eat and the food is terrible, it's really bland. And water sources just around the desert, like horse troughs and like little ponds that are disgusting. I didn't take a shower. They didn't tell me what time it was. I didn't know what day of the week it was. I didn't know what day of the month it was. It was kind of primitive. Like I had to make fire to stay warm or else I was freezing because it was winter. Like, I hiked 26.2 miles in under 24 hours. To graduate, there's eight phases, and each phase is a different value. You work on that value through goals. If you don't pass your goals, you don't pass your value, and then you don't pass your phase. You have to do a bunch of different assignments while making fires, while doing a bunch of other stuff. In order to pass, you have to not have any refusals. If they give you a refusal, it's kind of a big deal, just because you want to get out of there, and that will set you back from your goal of wanting to leave and wanting to move on. Before I actually got back, they had a graduation ceremony where they took me from my group and all the other kids who are graduating during that week, which the week leading up to it is extremely stressful because there's a bunch of kids in my group that are completed with their phases and are trying to graduate, but our therapist only will let a couple of us graduate and only actually two of us graduated in my group. They pick us up and bring us to Outpost, which is a place in the field. They give us a little speech or whatever, just the kids, and then they actually let us shower. They let us go see our parents, and they just make us run down this path. Our parents are just waiting there. I gave my parents a big hug, and they started crying, and I started crying. It didn't feel real. Seeing him for the first time, I still look back and go, that was one of my best days. It was like having a child reborn. You know, we were so excited to see him. You know, just thinking about the fact that he's actually right here and seeing him run towards us, ugh, it was just the best feeling. I mean, we were all just crying and, and it was pretty amazing. It was one of the best days. The peacefulness that I felt while I was there was just silence. We couldn't hear anything. Like, there's points where everyone else would be asleep and I would be awake and I would just listen and I would hear my ears ringing because there was just nothing to hear. 
it made me think and process a little better because my brain was kind of clustered by all my negative thoughts that I had. I was in denial and I thought I didn't need to be there. I started liking trying to work on myself because I hated myself. I didn't really understand why I hated myself. My outlook on life was really negative. I just saw everything as it was like targeting me. Now I see everything as it is. I just feel more happy. I feel more happy about myself. I feel more happy about other people. I feel like I'm a different person. Our life is so much better now. Looking at our family, our family is a puzzle. He went off into wilderness, and while he was at wilderness, his shape changed. He, one of the things that we learned as a family was that we actually had to change our shape altogether. So he came back, and that shape was no longer the same shape that fit into that family puzzle. Because if we didn't change everything that we were doing, his piece would come back in and eventually it would go back to that same old puzzle piece. It would fall back in there, but it was a new shape. He's pretty amazing. I think he's changed all of us. I think the whole experience really changed all of us. The advice I would give people who are in a rough spot is the more you look at it as it's terrible, the worse it is. I kind of see it as it's all in your head because I used to look at life just as it being terrible. And the second I missed it, and the second I realized it was good, I just felt so stupid for thinking that life was so terrible, for thinking that everyone was so negative. 